Welcome back everyone. So I'm going to make a quick series here about uh, products that I think you should use for your computer. Uh, most if not all of these are going to be free or have free versions but you know a lot of people I see don't really know how to take care of their computers too well and uh, you know it just I mean th these are some simple things to help you keep your computer running good. Again most of these are program based but some of these won't be. Um, so the focus of this video is going to be on pure and deep fry. Let me find pure and again. Um, I have made a video on Purin before, I'll probably delete that because I'm not too happy with it. Uh, Smart Defrag is also, I'm going to recommend it, but um, in this case, uh, that's not the focus of the video. Uh, so we have in here, you have your drives, and you can do um, additional op operations. Um, I would definitely use this, definitely check this, boost overall speed by uh, Purin Intelligent Optimizer, that's, that's a very good thing to do. It definitely helps out. You can do automatic defrag. Um, Pure and defrag does not get updates anymore, unfortunately, but it will still do pretty well. Now, one thing I want to make absolutely positive, you know, sure about is that. Sorry about that, by the way, if you heard my phone. Um, is that if you have a solid state drive, you do not want to defrag it. Absolutely not. Do not do that. That is not good, and just it's not necessary. Also, as let's see. So we're gonna go and run here. You can use a boot time defrag. It will. I'll give you options such as defrag and disk checking. Um, boot time, sorry, again, my phone's getting blown up. Um, you know, boot time defrags are good because they will, or because they can they can access files that normally can't be accessed uh, while you're in Windows. So I'm gonna let the program run while I'm making the video, and so it's probably not gonna get completely all the way done. But basically, see so some other things you can do. Uh, set the low pro or low priority so that way if you're doing something um, it's not as likely to interrupt you all done my experience with pure and defrag it really doesn't interrupt me that much if at all anything while it's going i'll start to shut down after defrag which is very convenient very helpful you know if you if, if it's going to take a little while which sometimes it does uh, it's very helpful to be able to actually tell it to you know be done defragging or once it's done defragging to shut off the computer um so you see here, so it'll defrag, it'll go through, you can see it's going through and doing all my things right now. Moving stuff, moving stuff around, it's defragging, and that's good. So, we want to go through a little bit here, I'll wait till it gets done here. Um, yeah, I've went through, a lot of, went through a lot of trouble and a lot of effort to, uh, to find the defragger that suits me the best and the one I think is the best. And when I did benchmarking, um, Pure Defrag came out on top with Smart Defrag. Uh, there are some other programs I wanted to use, like uh, Defragor by Pureform, and um, it just didn't do as good. Uh, same with Awesome Logics and some others. Um, also, too, uh, this Sequencer will be a subject for another video, but you will, you will want to run a good program like Sequencer or Disk Cleanup or uh, anything like that before you defrag, just to get as much junk out of the way as possible, and you know, so you can focus on the important things like here. Uh, Doom, it's it's defragging Doom. That's a game, and that's really important, you know, for you for the overall uh, speed of the game, especially. I mean, sometimes it's just not anything to be gained from doing this, but it really can help. And uh, me personally, I would recommend defragging about once a week. I would say, I would say that's a, especially if you use your computer on a daily basis. I would definitely say once a week, um, at at the minimum, or well, I mean, I, you, you can get away with more like once a month or once every two weeks if you really want, but if you want to be efficient, um, if you ask me anyway, you should use use it about one time a week, and uh, that will give you the absolute best results, I think. Um, but again, it's not necessary if you do. It's not gonna not gonna kill your speed, not gonna do anything like that. So, and also in my experience with Pure and Drag, uh, ever since I started using it about a year or two ago, I've used it on many many computers from. Uh, different towers, different laptops, Windows XP, um, all all kinds of different things, and most of the time with Pure and Defrag, I usually see a speed increase, and I think most of that is, is thanks to the um, uh, P -O P I O Z R. I don't know how you pronounce that correctly, if you even can, but um, yeah, I I have always noticed a noticeable uh, speed increase, in just Windows overall after doing this and that is one of my favorite things about it is just the fact that it's I mean it's it's helpful and I would not use the Windows defragger at all let's see if I can find it real quick 
Yeah, defrag and optimize drives. Um, we used to use a defragger and a Windows XP in you know, 2000 when we had those as, as our main computers and those seem to do okay, but I found in everything from Windows 7 and newer that um, more often than not they don't do hardly a thing. Um, usually they try and claim that your drive is not at all in need of a defrag when in reality, you know, most of the time it, it at least wouldn't hurt, but I mean even if Cause these are just not they're, they're not good at all um, and also they, they don't they don't do the same functions or same kind of bonus features that peer in uh, likes to do with some of its drives and so I just I mean I abs I, I would not recommend it at all you can do it if you want um, but I would absolutely not recommend it it's just more often not it's a waste of time so it looks like it's taking a bit longer to defrag than I thought but I'll go and discuss the other operations it will do so let's see here. It will optimize the drives, you know, and optimize optimize your um your drives and you know the overall kind of thing. It will go through and it will free space, um, which basically is just it reorganizing things. And I don't really know if it frees up space that much, but you know, again, it's just it's a way of organizing. And um, the one the last thing I can remember it, that it, that it does right offhand, and it will spend a majority of its time doing is filling gaps now. With, um, with with your files like this, they tend to get fragmented into smaller little pieces, or fragmented, sorry, into smaller pieces, and um, that causes games and programs to run slower and Windows to run slower as a whole. And so by defragging, you're basically joining the pieces back together, you know, kind of kind of grouping things back together where they should be, is kind of the I guess a simple way of explaining it, and. Um, Filling gaps is basically, I mean, again, I don't, know, I don't know the absolute technical way of it, but it basically, it basically goes through and and try and fill as many of these small gaps in the files as it can, make everything as compacted together and organized as it possibly can, um, and then what that does is that helps prevent future fragmentation, and I mean that just means that your system is less likely, you know, to get, you know, really, you know, messed up and everything disorganized and everything uh, with the files. I mean, you could look at, you could look at Nuclear Winter right here, uh, the, uh, whatchamacallit, the script, or the script for the story of the review I'm working on, but um, I mean, you know, even to one file, it's made up of lots smaller chunks, and like I said, these chunks get disorganized and all kinds of other things like that. And so, it's just one of those things to where, I like to doing this helps bring everything back together so that's kind of an overview overview of what it does. Um, like I said, I, I like this computer or computer, sorry. I like this program because it it goes above and beyond what a normal defragger would do. It does defragging. It likes to optimize and move things around. It likes to free up a little bit of space. Um, likes to fill gaps to help make fragmentation a less likely thing. Uh, like I said, you have you have these nice options here for uh, for for boot time defrag and disk checking. So basically. Like I said, you can basically just tell it, okay, I want you to do a boot defrag, and then I want you to tell Windows to do a disk check, and that way, you know, your hard drive, everything is all good, and everything's the way it should. I mean, having, being able to do this is great. You can exclude files, which is great. Um, automatic defragmentation, I really like. However, I myself like doing it manually. I don't know why, I just, I, I just feel like I put a little bit more trust and it that way, doing it myself and letting the program schedule itself. I mean, I don't really know. I've never used it, but that's just kind of my thing. And like I said, you can do that. You can also stop it on a battery. Uh, that's another handy thing because if you're, you know, if you're on your laptop and you're like, oh, I'll just defrag real quick. And, you know, if it's scheduled to do it at Tuesday, 8 p.m. and your laptop is going and, you know, you're in, you're in school or you're doing something else, you know, the last thing you want is your battery being drained, you know, because the defragger kicked in and, starting its own thing so um, doing a commercial license you can really do that if you want but I mean like I said it's no longer updated which is a shame um, and not only that but the nice thing too about defrag or I almost said defrag or the nice thing up here in defrag is that uh, there's really no difference between the uh, paid version and the full version a lot of a lot of programs will say okay well if you pay for the version you'll get a lot more features pure in defrag is just purely uh, free and you know, I mean, like it's just 
I, I, I really like the program overall. I would definitely recommend it. So now, now I will show you real quick how or how you can go ahead and get this program. I'm using Edge because I have personal stuff on Chrome right now, but it work the same either way. So you just want to go to Purin, whoops, Purin Defrag. And you can go to your utilities. And me, myself, actually, we're going to go back. Me, myself, I like to use, I like to get just the, uh, just to get the program itself, which would be this utility. Also supports Windows XP, Vista, pretty much everything, and 64 bit Windows, which is cool. Um, probably support Windows 2000 too, if there's any one person watching this who uses that. Uh, it's still based off Windows XP, it's still NT, or Windows NT, so it'd probably work on that too. But I mean, I just download these, this um, utility. Pure and Utilities will give you the whole the whole thing, and I don't have a problem with Pure and Utilities, I actually might get it again. Um, it's just that if you have more programs that do other things, um, you know, then really there's no reason for it. And for me, for me especially, I like to use uh, Glory Utilities, which will be another, which will be another uh, thing I will discuss off in the future in this series. But yeah, so that's kind of my overall thoughts, and I guess a review, if you want to call it that, on uh, Pure and Defrag. And it's a great program, free program. It's not supported anymore, but I mean, like I said, I would still heavily recommend it, and, I mean, overall, I mean, just want you to just remember, if you have an SSD, don't do it, it's not, it's not going to do any good for you, it might do more harm than good, but if you have a hard drive, I mean, said ditch the Windows defrag, get anything else but the Windows defrag, it's, I, I don't like them at all, they're not good, but thanks all for watching, and I hope you all enjoyed.